the church has successfully recruited among black-skinned Polynesians from the islands of Fiji. I wasn't a member when we came over, and then I would take lessons from the elders, and I came to think about it, and I knew this, that this was the true church. We have Polynesians in every phase of church here in the islands, and in Salt Lake there are some Polynesians that are in high positions in the church. No matter how dark-skinned they may be, they... It has nothing to do with Polynesian race, why they're entitled to every benefit that the church has. But some black-skinned people are not able to achieve full status in the Mormon church. In this day, as in ancient time, there are some who have not been given the privilege at this point of holding the priesthood of the church. Among those who do not uh, have this privilege are those of African Negro ancestry. The term priesthood requires some definition because this church has no professional clergy. Religious leaders are laymen, all males. At age 12, they are eligible for membership in the priesthood. Joining the priesthood is more important for Mormon boys than a christening for Catholics or a bar mitzvah for Jews. Young priesthood members serve communion, and only priesthood members can advance to positions of higher religious leadership. You cannot be a woman or a so-called Negro. Mr. Ashton, what is the church explanation for the exclusion of blacks from the priesthood? I think I can perhaps best answer that question with this uh, statement issued by the First Presidency of the Church on December 15th, 1969, and I quote, From the beginning of this dispensation, Joseph Smith and all succeeding presidents of the Church have taught that the Negroes, while spirit children of a common father, and the progeny of our earthly parents, Adam and Eve, were not yet to receive the priesthood for reasons which we believe are known to God, but which he has not made fully known to man. Any change would come in a revelation through the church president? From the Lord, from the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm uh, Epe Lilingeri. I come from Suva the capital of Fiji. Joining the church has uh, given me uh, a great chance for me to love my neighbors. With the true love of God in this church, we have to be able to be united as one. Ironically, there are several thousand so-called Negro members of the Mormon church, despite its policy regarding the priesthood. Many years ago, the Mormon church ended its sanction of polygamy when outside pressure became intolerable. It is possible that eventually the same thing could happen to the church position on race.